All right, so now that you've successfully done one triangle, what you're going to do is you're going to pick the next triangle. Again, you're going to put a dot anywhere you want. And then you're going to line up your vertices or points to that dot in each. And again, do it triangle by triangle because what's going to happen if you try to do this step to all of your triangles trying to go faster, you're going to get confused on what triangle belongs to what triangle. So because I used red here, my red family, I'm going to move into my blue family. And again, it doesn't matter. I can do light, medium, dark. You can pick and choose. So um, I'm just going to do dark next to light over here just because I like that contrast. And so... And I'm coloring super fast because I want you guys to understand how this is working. And again, you can pick any warm color, any cold color. It doesn't have to be blue and red. So you can have greens, purples, oranges, reds. Um, yellow might be a little hard to come up with three different shades, but you can definitely try it. You can do like complementary colors. So you could have red paired with greens and see what happens, or orange paired with blues. And sees, what, and sees what happens when you do those kinds of combinations. All right, now, so this one, I'm gonna go ahead and pick this guy, because he's touching this blue one, plus he's a little smaller, so I'll be able to get that one done a little faster for y'all, for the video purposes. And so again, same thing, I draw a dot. Remember, you guys are drawing super, super, super light. We don't wanna see your lines. I'm just drawing dark so you guys can see on this video. And then I'm going to switch back to my warm color family. And again, it doesn't matter where I put what colors. So, and you go in this back and forth motion, one triangle at a time, working with your cold colors, your warm colors, going through the three different shades that you have, your warm, your mid, your light, and your dark value of each color, and finishing the triangles. But again, it's a triangle by triangle process. Don't try to jump ahead. And just realize, at some point, you may have to solve a problem. There may be two reds or two blues together. Um, that, that just might happen. And so you're going to have to figure out, how do you solve that problem? So there's a lot of problem solving that's going to happen in this one. There, I can't always um, give you the answer. You're going to have to be able to think for yourself. And then so I would just continue moving on and on and on until I finish and I have a finished product that looks something like that.